This is a HeadGum Original. Sometimes you need to get the hat before you become that man. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not this yet, but the hat's going to make me it. Brad, you look exhausted. I do? It just started and you look absolutely devastated. I mean, it's kind of rude, but all right. I was going to try to be nice to you today, but you show up with this hat. You look like a goth pylon. You have a (laughs) attitude. What is that? What was that little (laughs) bottle? It's a non-alcoholic bitter drink. Oh, it's uh, sort of become my. The, excuse the, me, one second. Actually, it's actually become sort of my afternoon pick me up. Pick you oh, up, how? Perfect. We've got a guy with a leaf blower out the front door now. That's good for audio. Uh, yeah, I guess. What's in the drink? Glad you asked. Uh, herbs, spices. It's like a tea that isn't really good for you. It's bright red. What? What let's made move, it? Let's not make it the red. Amir and Jeff show. Brad, Allie, how the hell are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm stuck between a Kyle Richards joke and a Salem witch trial joke for the hat. Let's go with the Salem one. <laughs> yeah. How was the burning? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Brad? I just laughed <laughs> at you. <laughs> We've got a lot to get to today. Amir was a little bit late today, so I'm trying not to let that sour my attitude up top in a way. Uh, the, this whole schedule has been a mess. This whole schedule has yeah. been a mess. Yeah, yeah. Recording at 4.15. In a way. Unprecedented. On a day. Yes, we've never done that on hump day. <laughs> Did you guys have sex this morning? or This morning? Yes! It's Wednesday. Let's I move think- on. Bond of the week, I'm back to Aaron Taylor Johnson. He did a backflip for Vanity Fair. Did you guys see that? I no. did see that. I want to see. Tries, but he did it. Let's see. <laughs> well, the first, he, 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 he didn't hurt himself on the first one. Very close no. to the kneecaps, he said. Yeah. 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 I just think I'd love to see James um, <laughs> doing like, I don't know, gymnastics at the very least, if not a backflip. Why is that funny? <laughs> I got this thing for forty dollars at a flea market. That's at a bowl. too much. That's really way too much. Yeah, because some of these, I thought some of these go for like a hundred dollars. Good ones do, but this one is not stained with cum. <laughs> yeah, what is that? Uh, it's what a. Hat. You, what would you even call that hat? What do you even? Ha- it's a Pharrell hat, is what I've been calling it. But like, but like. <laughs> It looks broken. Like it looks broken in. It looks broken in because it's vintage. So I don't even have to like make sure that the bend is just so. There's a little dent in it. How there's a little there dent is in it. I wear stain to- on it. Yes, that's fine. It's character building. You didn't like wash it. At least like spot clean it when you bought it. How the it fuck am like I supposed new- to wash it, Brad? It's I felt. said spot clean. <laughs> God damn it. Uh. Major key alert. Wait your turn. Right? In conversation, it's important to listen and then respond intelligently and intelligibly. Um, how is that vintage? Like, when did people ever wear that style of a hat? 1612? Like, that's not... Is, what Vintage to what year is that? Vintage to what year is that? Yeah, like, is that like a 20s style or 80s style? Like, when was that hat made? I would have to assume the 19th century because it's kind of a rancher hat, I would say. You know, somebody goes to, like, out west, uh, you know, an oaky, let's say, uh, trying to find no. California, but instead, what's that? No. No, what? Just to the there's, whole thing? There's, yeah, there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, enough about the hat. Uh, why don't you guys? Why 
guys talk amongst yourselves for a bit. Get all the bullshit out that you guys want to talk about, right? And then we can get back to the actual show. What is this? I, I forgot we were recording today. Yeah. So you weren't like prepared. I wasn't prepared. Where did you get that? Where did you get the drink? We it's got it at the a pharmacy. small bottle. Yeah, it's only like six ounces, which is enough. I got it at the pharmacy of wine. <laughs> it's right by the office, actually. The pharmacy of wine? It's la pharmacy du vin, right? Meaning it's sort of a pharmacy of wine. Cool. Cool. <laughs> You guys really aren't bringing anything to the table this week. Last week was sort of a train wreck, a disaster, because I didn't bring anything to the table. Today, not only do we have a ton to get to, but you guys aren't saying anything. Well, you, you just know? lambasted okay. me for interrupting you when I was just talking normally. <laughs> you started off with such a sour mood. I said I was going to try to be nice to you this time because last time a lot of the comments were like, oh, it's cool to see Brad taking Jeff down a peg. But you're making it really hard and you're making me regret my decision to say yes to coming on the show. That's true. My bond of the week is Rachel White. <laughs> <laughs> Say more about that. I think it would be fun to do a little husband wife uh, swap. So maybe she's <laughs> James Bond and he teams up with Brendan Fraser and they kiss. Is Rachel really Weiss good. married to Daniel Craig? Is that what you're saying? Yes. That's awesome. That's a really good bond. That is week. what I'm saying. Thank you. Let's all give Allie some daps. Brad, <laughs> say something nice. That was a really good bond of the week. Chicken looks uh, spectacular. In the, the second one was a compliment to the cat, not to Allie. A compliment to one. the cat is a compliment to the cat owner. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Yeah. yeah. Amir? Um, yeah, I don't know, fucking Dane Cook or something. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Dave Cook. Yeah, it's been yeah. like... One week since A hundred weeks, me. yeah. Da -da 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 -da. I'm out of ideas. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Well, if you think the wells run dry for this, then why hasn't Broccoli come forward with the news of the next James? Broccoli? Uh, Barbara. Barbara Broccoli, the producer of James Bond, 007. Oh, I'm just saying, like, was... we only meet here once a week. I'm sure that Sony Pictures, Barbara Broccoli, and everyone behind James Bond is meeting about the next 007 on a daily basis. So I'm just like, there's no way the well is run drier than theirs because we only talk about it mm -hmm. once a week. They talk about it every day. Does that make sense? Respond yeah. fast. Don't just go like, I already yeah, said yes. Already Even before you said respond fast. Say it fast. I That's did. also how normal conversations work. Correct. I agree. Correct. And I did I say agree. it fast. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Maybe they'll pick back. out of a hat. Your hat. Too many names in this hat. It's pretty much down to Rene Jean Page or whatever the fuck and Aaron Taylor Johnson. <laughs> Are you gonna are you gonna wear the hat on a normal day? Or is it just a sort of a bit for today? On a normal day. I really want this to be I wanna be known as like, like Pharrell is kind of synonymous with this hat. I don't need to be synonymous with this hat, but I want to be synonymous with hats. Like you know, not everybody needs a thang. Like for Brad, it's like C L E hats. No, I, you don't need to base your personality on an item of clothing. <laughs> try, try growing as a human. How about? And it seems like that hat's taken by Pharrell. It looks yeah. like you're just trying to... All right, all right. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere with the, the sort of dynamism of the conversation. You guys had some overlapping dialogue there. You had some points <laughs> of view that were strong and contrary to mine. That's where the comedy comes from, right? 
I disagree uh, about the article of clothing, I will say. I think you become the hat and the hat is you. Does that make sense? Sure. Shirt. Let's talk about it. What's the <laughs> shirt you guys wear the most often and get compliments of? Because I got five compliments within 10 minutes of buying the shit at a bowl. People complimented your hat. What'd they say? I, I bought the hat. I put it on immediately. Within seconds, I got two compliments from two different st- different shop owners. Kept but was it like, hey, <laughs> nice hat? Or yes. Was it, but like, hey, <laughs> nice hat. <laughs> There was no sarcastic undertone, if that's what you're getting at. Mm. And two people were like, I wish I had bought that hat. Oh, wow. What was that? It's, I said, <laughs> oh, wow. Hat confidence is not easy to gain, so I respect that you have it. And is that C-O-N fidence or is that K-A-H-A-N fidence? Confidence. C-O-N. That's good. C-O-N. I'm back on board now. <laughs> um let's talk about the state of the network this is not like an official state of the gum but i'd love to talk about some intricacies of the inner workings of yeah the gum. yeah let's talk when about does this episode things. come out it comes out on friday all right why don't you let me get like in two days of, like in two days yes the 17th great <laughs> We could talk. smiling because he doesn't think I can get it done. <laughs> <laughs> Last week we recorded on Thursday. Sure. So this is sort of a step in the right direction. I guess one thing to at least talk about is if you're listening to this before noon, we're doing a live stream for If I Were You, and I think Jeff's going to be on it too, right? Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, so that's from 12 to question mark question mark 30 either 12 30 or 1 30 and then you guys can log in and check that out maybe you're listening to this during that period right now and you can stop this insanity and move on to the live stream that's a good idea yeah i guess so felt like an organic plug because you were talking about the state of the network and this is happening during that (laughs) You're also going to be on it. So why are you mad that people would leave here to go watch you? <laughs> I mean, I'm down to plug it. I just there's this whole section of the show at the end for plugs. So yeah. let's talk about the What's you. That? Yeah. <laughs> you just asked about the network. Yes. Let's talk about the intricacies, the inner workings. OK, brat. <laughs> no, like, no, I. Don't anyone on this make yourselves like small because then I look like a monster. Like Brad and Allie are both like, okay, Mm -hmm. what is going on, Brad, in your neck of the woods of the company? And what do you even do? I don't know. You don't know what I do? Do you work in like ad sales? What do you think I do? I think you work in ad sales. There you go. Yeah. So that's true. It's good. Yeah. It's awesome. We're, we're, We're killing it on a weekly basis. How much money? I, do you want me to give you a specific number? I'm not going to believe that. that. Okay. No. All right. But it's going well. It's good, yeah. Good, yeah? Or is it like we're, we do well, you know? I when f- people say that, it's like, one second. Is it like where people are like, oh, you know, we do well. So that kind of thing? I don't know what you mean. Like when, yeah. Forget it. Add to <laughs> it. Yeah, it's great. Portland did you get a raise? office. Did I get a raise? No. Yeah, last year. You didn't? I mean, I haven't been here that long. Neither has Joel. He got a raise. He did? Yeah. Joel's in Patagonia. How long have you right been now. here? Since May. Okay. Which, by the way, is when Joel started. So we started I'm, on the same day. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Maybe it's probably performance based. I wouldn't be upset about it. <laughs> oh. Are you upset? Nah. (laughs) Nah. (laughs) Uh, No, it's important to talk about these things. You know, employee solidarity and uh, communication. That way the the fat cats like Amir don't Mm -hmm. just hoard everything for their whore selves. You're not an employee, so. 
<laughs> I'm trying to help your ass. <laughs> Don't start an uprising if you're like not even part of the class here. Like yeah. you're not part of the company, quite frankly. You're and I'm a I'm a company man, okay? Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, I guess. I mean, you guys are shitting yourselves if you don't think I'm the reason why Adam McKay's podcast network d- hasn't done well. You know, it's not that Claire Slaughter's doing a bad job. It's that I have been sort of dipping my toes in the waters over there, uh, sowing seeds of doubt and dissent amongst the underlings and the overlings, uh, basically leading to whatever the lack of team building is uh, to ensure the uh, failure or at least downward spiral of that company. I don't even know what it's called. But that way, HeadGum does slightly better. Does that make sense? No. Yeah, you're saying you're not helping us out, but to make up for it, you're actively sabotaging our competition, which isn't really our competition and whose names you don't even know. Correct. Got I ran it. into somebody. What's that? Got it. <laughs> Did you see my comment on your uh, hat post? What's hat? I did. Uh, I was driving, so next time just maybe wait till I get home because I almost got in an accident. But um, it was the thing of like, I saw your comment and I kind of read it as like an exasperated what's that where you don't say the T. So it's like, what's that? <laughs> Fuck you guys! <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about dating in Portland. Brad, what's it like? What's the scene? What are the spots? Where do you where do you go out? Well, I'm not dating anyone. I'm married. You've You're married. Also, and you're, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, we go on. Because you should know. Exactly. We went out last night on Valentine's Great. So you Day. do date. Sure, man. Yeah. Just, yeah. I've said this so many times, but you're never supposed to stop. You don't stop dating your wife. And I don't, and I didn't, and we do, so where, and I did. Huh. So okay. where are the, yeah. So what's dating your wife like in Portland, Oregon? It's good and fun, and it rains. <laughs> do you want, like, specific restaurants? I don't know yes. how to answer that question. <laughs> yes, I do. We I want to know place, the spots. I, I don't even remember the name of it. We went to a Thai place last night that I got a reservation for, and it was delicious. There's a tattoo shop above it. It's on. A Hawthorne. Love Street. Hawthorne. Absolutely. You do? Yes. House is vintage. House they have vintage a lot of, is great. They have a lot of hats there. Well, I'm down. sort of set in the... Ha- I mean, I always always window shop, but I'm sort of set for now. No, you, well. should, you should expand the collection. Um, you ever go to Revolution Hall? Yeah. All right. Allie, let's talk about dating in Portland. What are the spots? Where do you go? Slash, where have you gone? To sort of get Ziggy with that, it, Stardust or otherwise. In Portland, uh, I've only been. I went once when I was like eighteen. I know that the public transportation is very good there. I would recommend taking a bus or a trolley and seeing what happens. <laughs> Hell yeah, Amir. <laughs> um. I went to a Thai restaurant with Brad and his wife last night. Yeah, that was nice. It was cool that you showed up. We split a pad C. Ew. (laughs) (laughs) That was, yeah, he made that joke last night. (laughs) (laughs) Twice last night, by the way. This is the third time. Um,. We didn't really dive into the thing, the state of the network, like what's going on. We have a live stream. The day this comes out, that's it. And ad sales are going fine. Well, I said good. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so ad sales are going good. To mid. (laughs) Oh, that'll come back around after the ad break. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Good. Thank you. Here's my gripe about this show. (laughs) What? Yeah. Amir says dumber shit than me. There's just this <laughs> dynamic that's been set up where anything <laughs> he says turns to gold and everything I say turns to mold. Like him doing an impression of the Hannah Montana transition music isn't funny. 
But then like that's both funny. Brad and Ali were both like, that's funny. That's cool. And yeah, then I say something so that I think is kind of clever. I wear like a what? hat and nobody does that's anything. That's not clever. That's not I clever. don't know. I would, I would say we've given your hat a lot of attention. Yeah, but and not positive why you wear to it? me. Yeah. Why would you wear that hat if not to say <laughs> talk about it? <laughs> Guys, our next partner has a product I use literally every day, all right? And that's AG1 by Athletic Greens. Uh, I used to take a bunch of different pills uh, and vitamins. I used to take like vitamin E, uh, magnesium, uh, selenium. I can't even remember all of them, but it was like a fistful of like nine different pills twice a day. And at a certain point, it became too much. All right. And I actually gave up on it. And I was taking nothing after that because I was just like, I don't like having to look out for all these. It's also very expensive. And that's where AG1 comes in because it is an easy all in one nutritional drink that gives you all of those things and more in the morning every day and it's it's the one thing you can do to look out for your health every single day i mean even if i'm not necessarily eating clean or if i didn't get to work out that day i'm still knowing that every morning i'm getting all my nutritional supplements and vitamins in one drink that tastes great by the way um and uh if you want to take baby steps this year to be a little bit healthier start here start with ag1 so what is this stuff well it's the healthiest thing you can do for yourself in a minute. Why take a bunch of different things when you can just mix one scoop of powder in water once a day? And that's what AG1 is. It was designed with ease in mind so you can live healthier and better without having to do a lot. Name of the game for me. Uh, it's powerful because it's so easy that it can fit into your lifestyle. You just scoop it into water, shake it, take it on the go, or if you work from home, just sip it as you work. Uh, AG1 has been part of millions of mornings since 2010. This company's not new, guys. It's been around for a while. It gives you increased energy and mood support, and it makes you easy to live your best life. I literally always want to find an easier way to do the things that I need to do, as I think a lot of us do. Why make things harder on yourself than they need to be? Just get at AG1 instead of getting a bunch of different vitamins, because this one is packed with 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source superfood ingredients of the highest quality that give you major benefits like gut and mood support, boosted energy, and even healthier looking skin, hair, and nails. I'm a nail biter, so I need all the help I can get. If you're looking for an easier way to take supplements, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of vitamins. D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Just go to athleticgreens.com slash what's that? Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash what's that? Check it out. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Guys, you always want to be the best version of yourself. You always want to be on a path to growth, all right? You don't want to get stagnant because that feels bad. And what feels good is knowing that you're doing things and putting things into action to better yourself and better your life. Uh, and that's where BetterHelp comes in because therapy can do great things for you. When life gets you bogged down and you feel overwhelmed or you're not showing up in the way you want to, therapy can be that first step to a happier, brighter, more fulfilled life where you are the best version of yourself. Working with a therapist can get you closer and closer to that best version because when you feel empowered, you're more prepared to take on everything that life throws at you and life will throw shit at you. Uh, um, again, I'm in therapy every week. Uh, sometimes I miss it. A week and I notice it. I notice the difference when I can't make it to an appointment. I Everything feels a little bit harder, a little heavier. It just always feels better when you can air out uh, your feelings and talk them through with a licensed professional. So if you're giving, thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, flexible, affordable, and entirely online, all right? No more waiting rooms, guys. No more driving hither than thither. <laughs> Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist today and switch therapists at any time at no additional charge if it's not a good fit. So if you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit BetterHelp.com slash What's That today to get 10% off your first month. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash What's That. Thanks, BetterHelp. <laughs> oh, being like... Yeah, that's what I meant. That's the question for break. <laughs> that you. And we're back. Uh, Welcome, Matt. Hey. <laughs> hey. Well, the chicken dominate. cracks up. <laughs> How? I never heard of This is so fucked up. I don't care. No. <laughs> chicken that cracks was good. corn. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> See, like right there, that wasn't funny at all. And Brad can't control himself; he's having to lean away from the mic. 
It's funny to imagine that's how um that's how Ali's cat chicken <laughs> laughs. I like that chicken's becoming a recurring character on the pod. Just like how New York is often a character in Sex in the City. Yeah. Chicken is like a character on the <laughs> New York. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Amir, let's stay off the emails. <clears throat> let's stay off the emails and let's stay off the text threads while we're on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not asking for a lot. You are. And I won't. But <laughs> and if I do, it's not because you asked me. I said on my Instagram story that I would get to the bottom of exactly what Amir meant when he posted this. So, like I said, I didn't appreciate it. Um, I think I'm more than mid. I think I'm at the very least above average uh, Broadway video style. But um, what did you mean, Amir? Did you mean, let's like figure this shit out because I didn't, again, I didn't appreciate it. At the very least, we could nip this in the bud. Uh, and be like, oh, I just was like putting a caption and just like is like something that's in the ether, which would make me feel a lot better. But if it was that you think I'm mid or if you think the sketch I wrote that we were shooting on this day was mid, then I uh, <laughs> I'm not going to just sit idly by and I'm not going to sit idly by that one's for all my brown fellows. Uh, it's just uh, it's not it's not OK with me. You know, you have to self advocate. And that's what I'm doing here. So let's get to the bottom of it. What did you mean? I meant that you were mid. <laughs> sorry Amir I'm like giving you an out to like not hurt my feelings I'm saying like you could just say that it was just liked by Brad at that the that bottom way. there yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I thought he meant when I saw the post that's why I smashed that like button <laughs> yeah Did what did you think he meant the hat was mid and that's why you got a new hat or I again I had no idea what you meant. I obviously took offense because I assumed the worst, but I, I like to think that worst case scenarios don't often happen. Uh, you know, whether that's in an effort to ease my own anxiety or or whatever. But you know, mm-hmm. uh, not in that's, not in this case. The question is what's the undertone? You know, what's the context? Let's get all that too before you just kind of straightforwardly say that you were saying I was mid, because it can't be that. It has to be that, you know, holistically. You were trying to make other people laugh. You were trying to spread joy by playing into this kind of honestly character that I, I I play that you play like in these public spaces because obviously when we hang out just the two of us or in the office it's like we talk about other stuff we like talk about inte- intelligible things things we've read things that we enjoy uh, there's a real kinship there there's a real like mentor mentee style uh, dynamic there uh, but publicly facing you got to make people smile right you got to make people have joy. And so I was wondering, is that what you were doing here with this caption? It's like, oh, he's mid, you know? And then like, and then as I bring it up on the show, you're also playing into that. Is that what was happening? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just calling you like average. Absolutely. And then just diving into that sentence. <laughs> is it that you hold all of us to a standard that's already subpar in a golf term above average in another term where it's like at head gum we achieve such excellence that again like doing well at head gum is doing fine you're at other not companies that good <laughs> nor do i think you're that bad you're 
right in the mean mean <laughs> and i'd rather be bad i'd rather you have a hard opinion about me either way to be mid in someone's eyes i think is the lowest form of congeniality yeah. because it frankly lacks that yeah uh, yeah and yeah. my thing is like I'm, I'm just really trying to give you the benefit of the doubt here because otherwise i might cry did oh. you mean that this photo of a photo of me captured a part of me that you'd consider mid, or is it holistically that me as a person ain't it, ain't him? You're not that dude. You're not him. You're not that guy, pal. <laughs> You're an average <laughs> Joe. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? You're an average Joe. <laughs> You're a five out of 10. A C man. So C man, <laughs> you're just totally gray. You're tan, you're beige, right in the middle. Or mid. <laughs> well, I know a lot of people that love neutral palettes, Jeff. Yeah, mid isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's specifically not a bad it's, thing. It's yeah, you're average. just like unnoticeable. If you get blood test like results back, you want to be in the middle there. Don't want to be too high or too low. It's just hard because like, I don't know, strive for excellence, you know. Everybody wants to be great at what they do. They, even if you end up like, you know, reach for the stars, you'll land on the clouds, whatever. It's a good fail safe to be mid. But to be at this point in my career, in my life, I'm 25, like to be considered mid instead of on the rise or like at least above par for my age, you know, leaves me feeling like I did in this photo. Can you see my face, Brad? What is the picture is also kind of mid. It's upside down kind of illegible a little bit but i didn't take the picture did you think well, i took the picture because amir took the no picture. no 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 it's just mid pick for a mid guy you know so you're saying the framing which is kind of fine to bad matches the subject itself. well yeah it's almost artistic like that's why i right. part of the reason which, why i dropped a like on it like i it it speaks to the subject of the photo the and framing let's go on that for a second let right? me finish though <laughs> <laughs> like the framing the lighting how like you can't really like it's a little blurry sure mm -hmm. like it 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 art imitates mid Strife. Yeah. yeah here's it's my kind of like and let's go off that for a second yeah a lot of great art art that we consider amazing now at the time was not received well and this was posted mm -hmm. what four days ago mm -hmm. and you know not only was the photo as brad said sort of average you're saying the subject is also mid, the subject being me, unfortunately. But I'm wondering if, because you're acknowledging that it is art, that maybe in like 50 years, people look back at this post and they say, oh, man, he was ahead God. of his time. Man, <laughs> he had something to say that other people did Just didn't. move he, on. Yeah. Man. I would you're... counter that by saying that a lot of art is appreciated in its time, probably a lot more art. It's like pretty rare that, like someone 50 years down the line let's just go on yeah you got you didn't get the answer you wanted but i feel like i've been loud and clear i feel like there's room for negotiation here no. <laughs> <laughs> loud and clear i think there's room for negotiation here i wonder if any of you could be swayed in your opinion about me being par you are par for the course and right. i will not be swayed did you see Tar? I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so fucked up. Um, plugs, <laughs> plugs. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> beyond that, it was all a wax episode. Let's get into some topics y'all want to talk about. I'll take a back seat and we can figure this shit out as we go. That was the only segment you had? 
Was, I said we had a lot to get to. You guys aren't exactly contributing in the ways I need you to. <laughs> what did you? What did we have to get to? Bond of the yeah. week, and then a picture of you that I posted on Instagram. <laughs> I, that was the preparation that we didn't get dive into deep enough. I just thought that we would have a whole debate. I thought that maybe it wouldn't be three against one. Me trying to like you know Sisyphusianly change your guys' opinion. Uh, I'm not not on your side, but. But time will tell. That's what I'm History. saying. That's what I'm saying. And Brad's saying there's not even room for growth in that way for public opinion to change. Ten years ago, everybody was wearing skin tight jeans. Now that's not cool to have. I I'm don't know. Saying- I mean, I think I think people thought that Vincent Van Gogh sucked and he wore hats, too. And now people like him. So there's hope. Yeah, but wasn't he like a little fucker? Like, wasn't he like a bad guy? <laughs> he was like violent, I thought. He like abused his partners maybe that's why people didn't uh, like his ass i don't know i don't know if that's maybe. most painters sorry I shut the fuck up here i feel like most painters were abusive for sure john lennon was abusive, <laughs> and he sort of that's painted true, yeah. chords yeah also kind of mid in my eyes he's the middest beetle i agree who's your favorite beetle paul mccartney easily george harrison me yeah, the too. hat. That's a very George hat, actually. That's actually kind of sick. Abbey Road. Really? Yeah. He didn't wear it in Abbey Road. They all wore well, suits. Well, they did a photo shoot around <laughs> the time of Abbey Road um, where he wore a hat. Are you talking about the All Things Must Pass? He was wearing a hat in, on the cover of All Things Must Pass, too. Yeah. I tried to recreate that photo. Before the hat? or Yeah. That was why it didn't work out because I didn't necessarily have the uh, the clothes, the skills, the you know, the know how to take you a photo. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> this is banal. It's a zero burger. It's not waxing. You is that how you say it? Talking. God, I hope so. Yeah, I just thought it was banal. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, is it my responsibility to come up with shit to keep the show going? Absolutely. Yes. But yeah, sure. what's... Did you say no? Did anybody say no? No. A hundred percent it is. <laughs> But I should also be able to bring things to the table and have them be explored and not shot down. And people blame me depending on how this episode goes every week. But when you guys show up without joy in your heart and even a little bit of the benefit of the doubt given unto me by thee, it's hard. It's just hard. Uh, And I'm not going to keep sitting idly by. That one's for all my brown fellows. You keep Uh, saying that. What is that, idly? (laughs) (laughs) Italy, it's like these little like rice ball things uh, for they're like an it's an Indian food. You would more like yeah, it's hard more like Italy. Uh, it's actually not cool. <laughs> oh yeah, it's just I don't really know. What are. <laughs> <laughs> the next episode, Amir's wearing a sari <laughs> because I am <laughs> because I am. Um, Brad, weren't you supposed to come to LA? Yeah, what the fuck was that? I I'm Brad to, at you. Yeah, I didn't didn't end up working out. Next time though. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. make it down there. Down Mexico way. <laughs> no, LA. Los, Los Angeles, yeah. California. Yeah. Makes <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. it Cali. Yeah, it's a different place. You good? Weird. (laughs) (laughs) You guys don't have anything you want to talk about? It's like, bring some shit. You know what I mean? I'm not even... Everybody's going to jump down my throat again because I didn't have enough prepared. But you guys could talk about anything. You could just let shit flow. Anytime I stop talking, you guys just kind of settle down and you don't say anything. Yeah. Yeah. You're like the host, so you like bring stuff and then we discuss yeah. it. You're showing up with nothing. You're removing the thing, you know, on top of the plate, and then it's just like I empty. brought the hat. I brought the <laughs> shoes. 
I brought Bond of the Week, which we all know to expect and have come to expect. And I brought The Debate, which, by the way, is kind of dynamic. Let's talk about the Chinese spy balloon. Who do you think was behind it? Probably the Chinese. (laughs) (laughs) Government or... Yeah. 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 (laughs) I wonder if we send a headgum spy balloon over to Earwolf. Not a bad idea. <laughs> That's a good idea, actually. How Just big over was this a closed thing? office building. And it accidentally goes off course and flies above China, and you start World War III. <laughs> How big World was this War thing? G. Do we know? It was 200 feet tall. Wow. No, it wasn't. It was? It was, yeah. That's a really yeah. big balloon. 100%. Well, was it was floating? Yeah. It was. That's generally what balloons wow. do. Wow. I wonder how it did not go too high or too low. Like, usually balloons are like, you know, lighter than air or heavier and they'll drift up or down. But for it to just stay that height, pretty impressive. All right. I just opened chat GPT. What do you guys want to see? Oh, my Lord. What? Minute 37. We already like filled in the dead air. Now you want to start a full new segment? Have it write a segment for the show. That's a good idea for next week. That's a good idea. <laughs> hey, I'm an, uh, I'm an inept host, and I can't come up with a single idea. Um, is there anything that you think that four people could discuss in a fun fashion? And then chat GPT, because it's, you know, artificially intelligent. Damn, the- Daniel! Someone asked me to describe this show the other day because I they asked what I did for a living and I I honestly couldn't. They were like, what's it about? What do you do? You know, I don't think ChatGPT will be able to outline this an episode of the show because I just typed the first thing I said. I said, tell Amir he is mid. Uh, It said, I'm sorry, but as an AI language model, it is not within my programming to insult or belittle individuals. And that seems to be all I'm met with on this show. Yeah. I don't think you gave it the correct prompt then. Like you have to ask it to come up with segment ideas. And all you did was just sort of type an insult. Say, what, uh, what's the segment idea that sounds like deal or no deal because it rhymes with deal or no deal. And then it would probably fart out something slightly better than squeal or no squeal, which is something you actually came up with and we played last week. All right, the title is called Cash Vault. In this game show, a contestant is presented with a vault containing a random amount of cash ranging from a small amount to a large jackpot. (laughs) Let's just do plugs. This is so fucked up. I was excited for this episode and now I've soured on it. Why are you excited? (laughs) Because I had energy. I had the bitters. I had the hat. I had a whole thing to get to. And you were, you were expecting us to come The debate prepared. of whether or not you meant to call me mid. All right? You didn't even open it up to normal discussion. You just off the bat said, yeah, I meant to call you that. What kind of segment is that? A quick one. <laughs> you asked me a yes or no question. I answered. <laughs> yeah, not a segment. Yeah, that really fast question at jeffrey james on instagram at jeff Boardy on twitter um what do you guys want to plug and point the people to we have a live stream today if you're listening to this on friday morning at noon pacific 3 p.m eastern brad what do you got i'm gonna plug this show my favorite show on the headgum network there's no the way. headgum podcast easy there's to describe no easy to figure <laughs> out easy to know what you're gonna get episode to episode <laughs> <laughs> like when, whenever whenever the the person recently asked me to describe it i i something came into my head i was like it's kind of like whenever you know like when you're a kid and you like wake up on a saturday and it, like some friends from school like invited you to go play basketball or something and then you like go into the kitchen your mom's like oh your dad's outside he's building a deck and then you got to spend your weekend like building a deck and then you like go to school on Monday 
and like Kurt Wiseman shows up in a cast and everyone's like, oh, it was so cool. Like Kurt tried to dunk and he like touched the rim and he fell and he like shattered his arm and like you had to be there and he like wouldn't let you sign his cast because you weren't there and you felt like kind of shunned. And now you're 31 and you just bought a house and you need a new deck. But instead you're here on a show. I, I guess what I'm trying None to say None of that is, had anything to do with what you were trying to say. I'm, I'm You're glad, mad at Kurt Weissman. I'm glad to be here to see you break your arm. I feel included. <laughs> you know? And that's what I like about the show is that... You feel better about yourself whenever we, you come on the show. We all get to see you try to dunk and hurt yourself. Right? We're the cast. Yeah. Sometimes we dunk. Gash Cow. cab was fun. That was kind of funny. That was a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been Allie, what do you got? That ever since. Uh, the live stream, and then uh, you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram or Letterboxed at Allie Khan. And if you want to Venmo me at Allie Khan. Nice. I'm here. I'm on line. Shrooms. <laughs> <laughs>